PHA, polyhydroxyalkanoase. It's a plastic which serves the same purposes as normal plastics, petroleum-based plastics, but you know, once you're done using it, you just chuck it in the soil and it degrades. It disappears over time. And it's got no harmful impact on the environment. The whole process starts off with food waste. Currently in the UK, landfills are facing a big you know, food waste burden. We're removing that burden. We're taking the food waste and we're making it into something that's biodegradable, that's not harmful to nature. I was just really fascinated by how bacteria could produce such incredible plastics that are so similar in their properties and quality to conventional plastics. The first person I approached was our head of biology, Mr. King. He was incredibly helpful with organizing all the equipment, the lab time for us, all the equipment we need, all the consumables, just everything. Every year we have people do these kind of projects. It sounded like a really good idea. He told me about the Earth Prize and I looked it up and, and we registered him and Erin as a team. He's got into the top 10 out of 1,500 schools that entered at the beginning. We've got the ability to come into the lab, to come into science school outside of lesson time uh, and just pursue our own practical projects. All the barriers are taken down when you're at Winchester um, and it's like working in a proper research institute. The project is, is gone quite well so far. There is still quite a lot to do. Currently our main focus is genetic engineering of our bacteria to produce higher quality plastic and lower the price to approximately twice the price of petroleum-based plastic, which would make it much more economically viable for um, global usage. This is what we're doing now and this involves a lot of pretty complex experiments and we're also collaborating uh, with UCL for this, uh, where we will be doing our ultimate experiments. It's nice to actually integrate what was originally just a student project into something global, um, which could potentially lead on to an amazing discovery that could you know, help sustainability into the future. What we're going to do is just try and make it a reality, you know, try and actually set this thing up, get this operation to work.